As our Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ once said, time is money. So in this video, I'm going to be listing the top 5 vehicles you need to own in order to speedrun GTA Online and get your missions done as quickly as possible, and therefore earning as much money as possible in the shortest amount of time. So without further ado, let's get to it. At number 5 is the Benefactor Terabyte. Now this may seem like a rather odd choice, but bear with me. The Terabyte has two main functions to help speedrun. One is being able to store your oppressor Mark II, which is handy for when you want to cool down and can't get your oppressor directly. But its main function in speedruns is how you can use it to escape the cops immediately. We've used this in our casino world record speedrun, where you need to lose the cops on seemingly every mission, and also with our world record auto shop contract missions. And bear in mind that you can't even own an oppressor Mark II until you own one of these. The terabyte starts at just $1.3 million, but could be as much as almost 3.5 depending on what upgrade you buy. And number four is the Phantom Wedge. Another choice you probably didn't think would appear here, but again, stick with me. The Phantom Wedge is probably the fastest trailer hauling truck in the game, especially when you take into consideration how it just blasts through all traffic in front of it. This is a must have for the long fin approach during the K Perico preps. and also a must have for the lost contract, not only for the prep, but also for the finale, which will save you masses of time. You're going nowhere. Shit, how's it look, baby? Now I want a song. It's also the best vehicle to use during some other missions, like haulage when you're a CEO. The Phantom Wedge will set you back just under 2 million, but you will need an import-export warehouse to store it in. And number 3 is the Vigilante. Before our second place and first place were introduced, the Vigilante would have been number 1. The fastest land vehicle in the game when it boosts, but also strong enough to bash through most roadblocks. Or it could just destroy them with its 20 homing missiles. It also has very small windows which give you lots of protection from gunfire. A very underappreciated vehicle, as I think most people don't know how to use it correctly. This is one of the best vehicles to use in many Doomsday High setups, but also for pushing of the slower vehicles, like the trucks in the Series A finale, or for jumping across large lakes, like in the Humane Labs raid finale. We also used it for this jump during our world record prison break hike. The Vigilante costs $3.75 million. And number two is the Torridor. The Torridor is probably the best speedrun vehicle in the apartment in Doomsday Heist, overtaking the Vigilante, and for a few good reasons. It's not as fast as the Vigilante, but what it lacks in pace, it makes up for in handling. It also has unlimited missiles instead of just 20, and can carry four plays, which you may need if you're going to trip skip the heist as all four players need to be in the same vehicle. We've used this vehicle for our world record prison break heist in almost all of the setups and the finale. Its only weakness is how many windows it has, which can leave you vulnerable to consistent gunfire, so just be sure to open up your inventory menu ready to equip any armour or eat snacks. It can also swim in the water, which is another way to get to the Valkyrie during the Humane Labs raid finale. Just in case. And we're giving you night vision goggles too. The Torridor starts at just over 3.6 million, but you're looking at closer to 4.5 million once you've fully upgraded it. And at number one, the Oppressor Mark II. As if you didn't already know, the Oppressor Mark II is the must have vehicle for speedrunning GTA Online. It's fast, agile, comes with 20 homing missiles, small enough to fit almost anywhere, can boost off from danger quickly, can be called in directly from your MC, and really only has one weakness, which is that you can't use it in the apartment or doomsday heist. For everything else, especially free mode, it is the must have vehicle, not only for speed running, but for generally getting around the map and completing jobs. This was the go to vehicle in our world record casino heist, as well as our world record Caperico co op heist, and also all of our world record auto shop contract mission jobs, where you can access the oppressor from your apartment garage if you store it there. Pull a crank. That's the haul, alright? Kay's coming around now. Hey, baby, rerunning this job for Chef or what? Will you get to the lab? Just put the bombs inside. The 
Impressor Mark II starts at 2.9 million, but it will rise substantially once you've fully upgraded it. As stated before, you need to have purchased a terabyte before you can get your hands on one. And that concludes the list of top 5 vehicles you need to speedrun GTA Online. So if you found this video useful, please drop it a like and maybe consider subscribing for more. I'm Beatsdown, this motherfucker fan, and I'll see you in the next one.